All right, uh, readies are there. I'm going to push the button because I mentioned to get into games. Let's find out. Uh, Archon might take this series or Black Hole might take us to a game five. We find ourselves here on Cursed Hollow. If you're sitting at home and you're wondering how we might have gotten here, we had a couple games earlier. Some teams lost some games. Some teams won some games. And now we're on Cursed Hollow. That's our recap for all of you. But uh, band-wise, so we are going to a gigantic map. And we have not gone to uh, a large map thus far. We've been to Dragonshire... Battlefield, Towers of Doom, and now we find ourselves here in Cursed Hollow. So, a lot of macro here. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those maps that you typically can see teams like running triple global on, right? Uh, it's just oh yeah, just because of how big the map is and how it flows. I think that like my favorite strategy for the map is the ignore the existence of the other team and just like push a lane, especially like your boss lane right uh ignore the other team push your boss lane and then proceed to ignore them even more right uh you just you just don't let up on a singular lane until eventually you get the boss and you win uh that it's just like this map is is one of those chess maps where you're moving around the other team's moving around you need to kind of guess where they're going and and how mm -hmm. you anticipate that uh, I think great, greatly increases your chances to win. So things like, you know, we talked about a little bit, like Grey Main still prioritized, Jane is often prioritized, Kale Foss, uh for just kind of the spread of people, Gravity Laps and all that. Grey Main obviously, we, is going to be banned out right there. Hanzo is also a really good option as well. Genji in the past, but I feel like he's pretty much just been re replaced with Maiev, just because her utility is way better, her her mobility is more synergistic with a lot of compositions and teams, and, and she's also able to get that Umbra Bind and pull people around, so... Overall, uh, I think for for these teams thus far, like a, a, a Stukov to start things out is not a bad idea whatsoever. Good zone potential with that. We saw in game number one, the blow up that uh, Stukov can kind of set up is really, really powerful. But that's a very early Rhaegar. D Here it is. This is the ignore the other team and Chogol? just run it down a lane. It's it's Chogol, right? Do you think they take Chogol? Yeah, it's just, you know, early Rhaegar so you can get the Ancestor healing. I honestly, I, I have no idea. I really, I don't, I don't know what they're going to no, be going blood, into right bloodless, now. Bloodlust, they... bloodlust, <laughs> gray main. Yeah, ignore the other team. Do the boss push. Take a new barack. They banned Pretty, gray main. No, it is. I'm yeah. sad. Leaming gray main by carbon though too. Yeah, that is that is something they can pop off on, and it looks and like they're okay with giving that ETC up. as well. Ugh. And then you have that that lockdown from Stukov, way to pushle and everything. It's it's gonna be a bit of a rough go here. We'll we'll see we'll see what the latter half of this draft looks like. Uh, Deathwing to be banned out. To global. And we talked, yeah. I mean, we talked about the the factor as well of Skyfall, like on. Uh... <laughs> I respect it. I think that's a. I do. I do too. Choice. They they. It's been a while since our Towers of Doom game, but uh, they did not forget that one right there. Um, but no, Deathwing with the Skyfall, you can just have such a long stall um, on the objective phase, and it's just get rid of it also is team fights annoying they don't have anything to draft against it or draft it against it to deal with it so um pick wise though with a Rhaegar sylvanas they need to go in and i like the anubarak but there's going to be a dahaka for the solo global and there's the anubarak that you and i were kind of pushing hey, for that's the ignore the other team right there mm -hmm. i don't know they're gonna i don't know what the fourth pick to that four man is going to be though Tyrael, um, and you just no i'm just kidding <laughs> just it, needs juice be, pirates. it needs to be some sort of like attack damage Maybe a thrall, uh, a thrall could be pretty good. Thrall actually wouldn't be bad at all. Yeah. Just have... I still like, if you wanted to go for like, Jaina still works technically. She just is going to be really left behind because of the mobility between Sylvanas, Rhaegar, Dahaka, Anubarak. Like, Dahaka does have mobility if, you know, Brushstock is one of them, but you also do have the uh, speed boost that you get within the bushes too, so. But Mev could be all right. Oh, that actually worked out really well. Dive would have just more to, utility. Just to mm -hmm. help. Uh, deal with the etc because the etc slide kind of gets bopped a bit by the may of w mm -hmm. it's an interesting interaction but i'm not really sure I don't... there's a lot of directions they could go there's another one that they could take to zeratul obviously cursed hollow being one of his stronger maps and four man zeratul able to rotate and roam and if their team plays it the way I, i'd assume that they're going to where they're going to want to like three men rat around with the silver Rhaegar noob then the zero tool if he builds into like a nerezine build can kind of get picks on people rotating to stop the pushes uh so i like that a lot kind of going the dual build more than um 
you know, the cleave AoE build. Pretty good versus the Leeming and Hanzo, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, getting into the back line is going to be a big utility coming out from Black Hole. And I think the Zeratul gets them into the back line as, like, they can dive in and harass. And there's going to be a lot of splitting of the fight, too. Like, I think they're going to be peeling and just and just getting to that back line. Like, if Li Ming and Hanzo don't get protect, protected by specifically Urel, mm -hmm. I would say, it, it's, it's going to be... I mean, ETC is going to have some protection in there as well, but I think it's going to be those two are going to be the big players when it comes to making sure that they can keep their back line safe. Otherwise, if they keep picking off that back line, what damage do you have between... I mean, you're just going to have harassment from Stukov, ETC, and URL. That's that's really it. And even then, that harassment isn't going to be lasting that long. and Staying a little too long might actually have things go a little sideways for you. But at the same time, I will point out, Anubrak does have that web wrap, and Leeming does have Disintegrate, so it is going to be a good way to burn through that. If Unless, you know, she's the one web, web wrap, then I don't know what you do. <laughs> the, uh, the funniest, one of, like, my favorite heroes' memories was, like, uh, it was Mine. After, I think he was either on Fnatic or Dignitas, but they came off of stage and they, and they came backstage and Mine was playing Li Ming and he had blink dodged a noob's cocoon three times in one game, okay? And they had lost and he was livid. He was like, I blinked three cocoons. He was like, <laughs> he's like how do we lose? <laughs> like, because like... Because, like, obviously, if you're blinking the cocoons, it yeah. means you're doing, you, you know, he's cocooning you, so you, you don't just instant laser them. And in right. this case, he he blinked three of them in team fights, and they still lost the game. He was so upset. But, yeah, these teams coming back into it, uh, I would tell, we, we have a few new names. That's kind of, we have some Smurfs, Frosties, I think Chijuggy Ch here yep. now, yep. and um, who was it? Tr uh, Tremo. Who's, who's Tremo? Um, Tremor, I believe. Tremor, yeah, okay. So, you have some, and then, looks like some, some Frosty yeah. Wind is on his main. Fro Frosty, Frosty is uh, Tichuggy, and then you also have, uh, like, Ozzy is going to be Liam. Okay, yeah. Which I had, right. I, I had to ask as well. I was like, I know you're an Overwatch character, but, uh, or not Overwatch, over, um, excuse me, Watchmen character, dear lord. Um, but either way, uh, we are going to be seeing Weary Day and Friends pushing this bottom lane. Inubrek tries to get the burrow charge under Trima in this bottom lane. Will not happen right there, but... As you said, they're kind of ignoring the team in a sense, and they already burned down that tower a little bit in bottom lane. First objective will be in the bottom portion of the map. So with that, you're probably going to get the bruisers first. And Just push down the bottom. Gonna be coming out. Yeah. 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 This is. I mean, this is exactly how they, they'll probably play the, the, the entirety of the game. The Zeratul's just going to roam around, play everywhere that they're not. Just stay hidden. Even he, he doesn't even have to really show himself. Um, and then the other team kind of has to play tag. Meanwhile, yep. uh, it is very possible that we actually do. Uh, I just noted Tiger with his Q there. He, he has taken the big Q at level one, so possibly going cleave build. Um, That's the standard start right there. But it also does give them that little extra wave clear. The 35%, excuse me, 33% increased radius on that cleave does allow that. But you also get more splash. You know, you dive in, everyone's clumped up around the curse. You get a big cleave and blink back out. In the later half, that that you know, you get that cooldown reduction as well, and just oh, it's dear, dear lord, like post 16 with that increased radius on the cleave just helps out so much. But mm -hmm. that is going to be uh, lanes matching at mid. Sylvanas did go into possession at level four, so no mercenary queen for her. She's just going to be looking to uh, steal away minions and buff out their own wave to hop in URL. Still brawling out in top lane, looking at the health bars just at the top of her screen. Doesn't look like either one's winning that out too much. Just probably pushing pressure onto each other as Hanzo does get over the wall, but. The blink from Zerato will find them, and that will be first blood in favor for the members of Archon. Yeah, good use of Warple Blade there to follow the Hanzo. Hanzo is like, has a really tough time, actually, uh, against the Zerato because of that. Carbon just taking a big bite there from Weary Day. Unaverted jumping in. Liam might be caught out here. Frosty does miss the Q. Looks like Trima mid is just going to try to soak up some damage here. But the hard camp is still pushing, and the Sylvanas is still alive and very, very healthy. Uh, we could potentially see maybe even a double tower go down here. Again, just playing away. Uh, nice slide connects, but that spell aura is just keeping everyone yeah. topped off. Uh, and Looming obviously can't get in damage through such a massive wave. They are able the to pick up one tower, right? 
the chain hill's pretty much like mitigating any damage coming in. Plus, there was that armor, as you noted, too, from the mage in the middle. But now we are going to be seeing Weary Day with the channel. This is here's the nice thing. I actually moved away from this, but we actually have them turning around and saying, "We just need one person to chant to channel." Until then, we'll go ahead and try and heckle this. They do slow things down. Meanwhile, they actually had uh, looks like Stukov was able to interrupt for a little bit. So this does get delayed out in favor for the members of Black Hole as they do have Zeratul down. A little poke coming out from Frosty. We'll stall this out. Sylvanas has a haunting wave, maybe? Oh. Yep. Yeah, Cycling that's... around really Ooh. good, but she's dead. Yeah, it turns out if you haunting wave and then walk into ETC, you typically die. Uh... I mean, without Windrunner, you ain't going <laughs> anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, like, pretty to, like pretty pretty sad to, to see the, the the team take the, the fight before 7. Um... Especially with the Zeratul, he's, he's just such a 7 dependent character. I mean, you can get picks in the early game, but his 7 is where a lot of his mobility comes from. And it's what allows him to, like, make the kind of aggressive play that he made mid and get mm -hmm. out. Uh, because without it, you you know, you have to typically blink in, and then there's just no way to get out. So you really should only be blinking if you're going to get kills. Also, Cleanse picked up for the ETC slide. That's going to help a lot if we want to win runner in, but... Looks like Frosty actually is going to get the knockup on Termo. Slide is down to Hawk, choosing to dig in. Can the Sun connect? Ooh. ETC W. Maybe there's the argument for loudspeakers at four, knocking the Dock away. I will say that is one of the worst, most frustrating matchups in Heroes of the Storm. The ETC Dock and, and the Dock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lucio is kind of the same. It really just comes down to whether or not you can connect your isolation on ETC. In which case, he 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 becomes like a non-threatening you know, Barney character uh, <laughs> at that point. Like, he, it's, yeah. So, it's it's a, it's a skill matchup in some ways, right? If you are able to hit the ISO on ETC, all of his, like, oh, I can do this to live. Oh, I can do this to live. Oh, I can do this to kill you. Like, all those things go away, and then he's just kind of a, a lump. Um, so, we'll see that as we as we scale. And, and actually, you know, I haven't really been paying too much attention, but on that dig, they've now gotten a half a level ahead right weren't they just down a level uh black team black hole i th think like they had double I they lost say, yeah. towers bought towers yeah 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 and now they're about to hit 10 first i guess liam just never rotated off top yeah uh, they, I think they might have actually double soaked during all that. I want to say I saw them in mid lane at some point on the mini map. Valimar did have to rotate up, did go into enhanced agility as well. Does have that feeding frenzy. That's why you're seeing so many tongue drags connecting out from them because they're just auto attacking and they're getting the what is it, two second cooldown? That's huge. Like, is it two? What is it? Oh, yeah, it is two. Dang, it's two. And the tongue drag itself is a 15 second cooldown, so you only need seven autos before you're basically at one second, and even then, you're still getting second, you know, cooldowns over that. So, probably around six realistically for you to like maximize or whatever, but. Tens up on both sides. We are going to be seeing a chase coming in. Face melt from ETC is going to force them back. Tiger JK looking to set up with a VP. That's going to be the bloodless coming out from the uh, Rhaegars. They actually VP into the back lane. That's going to be just onto one. There's going to be an isolation onto the ETC as Tiger JK is trying to get some damage, but the lurking arm will stop them from blinking away. That will be a reset for Li Ming. Ozzy going to be chasing further out. That is going to be Liam, and they just get the jump onto Unavert. Slow is going to be there looking for the Righteous Hammer angle, not going to be able to find it. Actually, she turns around and sacrifices herself for the friendly team to get away. I'm not too sure about it, but either way, that's going to be Black Hole going up more in kills and a solid level lead over the opposing side. Yeah, overall, really good fight there from Black Hole. You know, the Stukov did get VP'd, but their team is kind of able to set up Liam getting ready for the all-in. Actually, Valmar might be caught out here. Clint's able to get him out of the safety. And actually, Tong, Ooh, Tong Tong Tonzo, goodbye. Great turnaround. That's, That's like great. the classic, the classic dog. One of my favorite things about him. But Frosty, when getting some pressure, the laser does knock the cocoon. Weary out in front. Oh, Wash Pit connects. Looks like that Rhaegar is going to go down, but a Tongue actually hitting on Ozzy as well. The carbon's just popping off right uh, now. Noob, yeah, Noob tried his best to stop the Wash Pit, but. In doing so, he just kind of sacrificed himself, right? Li Ming's gonna get the reset and was able to like double reset and all that damage into carb or into that Anub there. Well, during all that, Zeratul just casually gets the channel onto Curse, so they're <laughs> gonna try and pull back their experience in that realm. But Rhaegar just came back, Anubra just came back, and they're only soaking two out of three lanes. They're yeah, doing they, their best here. They'll probably they'll probably catch back up in XP here for the Curse channel. I for, think so. Yeah. For the they Ooh, is this just a boss play for top? 
This is kind of goes back Lord to what I was talking about. I, I don't, I don't think you go after Liam. It's, in, it's hopeless. He still has his, that he still drag. has his heroic. It, it's, yeah, it's just. It, it, I think at this point, after watching enough heroes, I've now come to realize that what makes your L busted is that level one talent. Tiger oh, can absolutely. actually live here as well if he plays this correctly. So just really quick. Oh, Hanzo ripped an arrow right into him. They throw a VP. They have to mount and get out. Oh, Li yeah. Ming finds a, a combo into them. Tiger's down. But the boss. But hey, they got a fort. The boss should get taken here too. Oh, oh ISO, 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 ISO. Oh, they didn't get the isolation, so that's going to be the absorption. That's going to be oh, full health, but they immediately burn that back down. Uh, for anyone that's wondering, really, really quickly, I just want to read this off for you. Dauntless, the level one for your route. Casting a basic ability grants your route 50 physical armor for 2.5 seconds. So there you go. That's that's the reason we're talking about that. It's because, well, 50 armor every single time you cast an ability, it's a... It's like almost yeah. better than a hardened shield constantly. Like, you just have it. You just have it at all points. And not only that... But it works against structures. Yo, Mac, I want to, I want to ask you a question here. What's it like being on the winning team of every fight, but the losing side of siege? Because this, I'm watching <laughs> I mean, minimap and it's just like solid, they're dude. winning every fight, but they're they're just in a sense out macroing them. They're losing the the fight, but they're just still playing the map so very well. Like Zerch still grabbing camps for bottom lane. Yeah, I mean. It's one of those things. It's it's there's certain maps, the Sky Temple, they all kind of fundamentally work the same. Where you're not actually playing to win fights, you're just playing to take structures. Um, and what fighting does is get you into trouble, like they're currently in, right? I think he'll be able to walk out for his souls. And this is also, you know, mind you, creating space for that Zeratul. And this is something that Zeratuls really want to be doing on this type of map. Um, they want to split and know that they can get away if they get focused. Uh, obviously, we saw Tiger kind of, in my opinion, misplay. Uh, he should he should have saved his VP. You really want to save your VP for, like, a last hope. And maybe yeah. gone for a Seeker mine on the Hanzo. And then if the, the Seeker hopefully hits, he can blink and then run away. Um, but yeah, Zeratul is just very good because if, if people show up to kill him, he blinks away, he VPs, he, he lives. And you can see here, his pressure in the bottom lane just opened up top four, and they were able to pick up top four. And I, I want to say at this point... Because of the passive XP, they probably will start to game back up uh, to an even experience lead mm -hmm. uh, as this game goes on. And with characters like Zeratul and Dahaka, I mean, both, I would say, in my opinion, I think Dahaka scales really well too, where this increased Kong and his auto oh, yeah. um, soul generation. So just getting yeah, to the late game is, is going to be important for their team, and, and it looks like they're going to be able to do that. Ooh, ooh, ooh Mac, Mac. Good bush pretty. Unfortunately. The enemy team's all gonna be at boss yeah. bottom. Turns out there's a boss in the map, but this is not a bad window. So this is a window that some teams will take, where they just give a boss to take structures. Um, or maybe what I'm watching right now, I don't. Know. I do not like giving boss for easy camp. Um, and I think this is. Uh, Urel. Huge arrow from Hanzo as well. Argent Defender oh. goes down. There's gonna be Carbon throwing a combo out. There's Wait, he does. Web wrap as well. Tongue drag, cleave, everything's there. Lee Ming, or excuse me, Urel goes in there. Lee Ming trying to find the damage as Tiger JK loses half their health <laughs> to a full barrage of Seeker missiles. Now, no curse here, but boss through bottom. Savannah should have curse on the right hand side. Actually, she's gonna hearth back to go ahead and deal with boss and bottom. But, um, Valimar, should be able to get out of here? I don't think they've got anything to, to lock him down. Yeah, this was pretty disastrous. Uh, they not only give a boss up for free, like this boss is a zero value boss. They lose curse. And now the enemy team, you know, has position to get their own boss and push with it, right? So Archon now has boss priority. Yeah, 20. Um, 20 players. They're working their way towards a curse right here, right? I mean, and, and, and this is what I was, we were talking about earlier, RNG. This is an RNG curse because technically they could possibly go posture up towards boss, give the curse. When is that boss mm -hmm. one? 50 seconds. Uh, okay, maybe not. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's close. I think yeah. I think realistically they try and fight this. Yeah, they, they are going to. The Haka's uh, still showing top lane though. Or no, I, I, mean, I, brushed I guess yeah. the, the argument I was going to make was they could poke him posture while somebody splits, right? Yeah. 
Power Sight Cleanse. That's going to be a lot of damage. Hansa rips the air. There's the uh, Disintegrate coming out. Wet, excuse me. There's a VP onto two. Ural jumps in. That's going to be a Tiger. There's going to be a Tongue Drag on the left-hand side. Carbon's going to blink away. Still, Tiger JK getting cleave after cleave. Moshpit's going to be going out. That's going to connect on to the Zera tool as well as three of those Beetles from Anubrek. Meanwhile, Ural went down somewhere. Carbon's still being chased by the... Oh, oh they actually blinked through the damage, I think, from Li Ming. That's going to be Valimar chasing in. They have that enhanced agility from the level one. Tongue Drag doesn't connect. Anubrek chasing onto, onto this Hanzo, who does get uh, impaled right there. You can see the pings coming out as they want to chase them. Mandibles not getting enough damage. And I can't believe it. They're going to they're gonna back off. It's oh. a one-for-one -one trade, but Curse will go over in favor for the members of Archon. Yeah, it was an insane fight. I, I mean, I'm surprised that it didn't go so heavy favored towards Archon, considering how well the engage went. I mean, I want to point out too, Valimar came up and just banged out a tongue on the Li Ming, but no one was in. Oh no. They banged out a Chuggy. Yeah, wreck. Chuggy just <laughs> deciding that he, he wants to get one shot. He's excited about cursing the enemy team, but forgetting that at any point in time they can just push buttons and he dies. Uh, that's, that, his death is actually going to cost him. Um, potentially a boss, more deaths. Uh, I already see more deaths in their near future, uh, which will probably lead to a boss. They're going to lose a lot of experience here because the waves are going to be pushing in and just dying to that. Yeah. Tunneling claws value, but it wasn't enough. Oh my, that was that was close though. Like there was there was a there was a chance for tunneling claws value to get them out of there, but. There, there was a point where they were body blocking them, and I was just like, in my head, was screaming like, Dark Swarm, use Dark Swarm, please, use Dark Swarm, you can move their enemy heroes, and then it, it was used like seconds before that, so they, they called that out just right, but it looks like they're going to grab a camp, and Curse will end yielding not a whole lot, some front gates going down, I think a little damage onto these top, pieces, it looks like... This top keep might go nice. down, actually. Yeah, they're, they're going to they're gonna just think it all does. in onto Zeratul it. Zeratul needs a stall here, if he can, or look for picks. Finding card uh, maybe. Even, nah, see uh, Giants in the wave got it. They just need to get out of there, which is the issue. Weary Day is going to get slowed by Ural. They're going to turn around and be like, yeah. I got this, boys. Don't worry. Oh, actually, Bloodlust, Centurion's going to go down, and they do have this. Oh, they find the kill into Lee Ming. Ozzy's getting low. That's that's the Lee, that's the Liam as the absorption's going to be used. They're going to be stopped right there. Uh, boss is still going through top lane. Absorption's still going through. They get the dive for the wall. Frosty gets the massive shove. ETC is in the back lane. Moshpit is off of cooldown, but ooh, isolation goes on to them as well. Even Nubrak Burrows. He's a Barney character. <laughs> oh my god. They catch Tremo, who I think just walks away because they. Well, they're just scoring. They wanna, they're well, just scoring. How did it oh, just go down for Ozzy. like that? I was I I thought we were going to a game five with with this with this game here with the aggression I thought we were in game five but hey Archon takes it three one GG well played they take week four hey GG to Team Archon wow that was I'm gonna be honest Weary played that really well like he oh was God. caught out and he yes. ran down and then mm -hmm. like created this false security that like Hanzo kills that right right and then he snapped bloodlust and in they the just bush, too. one shot yeah in the bush and then they just turned and one shot the hanzo before he could even you like could, can you imagine being an arrow throwing boy and just be like look i got this don't worry i'll kill the puppy and then you know you run through a bush and then there's just a protoss just cleaving you in the Shoot, face like bomb boom nope nope <laughs> and me meanwhile i we didn't we didn't get a great view of it but like carbon just died casually too right like he came out from the eye at like 10 percent health and then zeratul yeah. just like blink cleaved and killed him too like so something else th th just chaos it ensued over there uh that they just came out good... cleaned it up and yeah wow ggs ggs the team it was a good uh, series you wanna you wanna jump down and get a little interview with the winning team sure let's do it all right all right so, all right i that, pulled you that, mac in that, welcome uh, congratulations thanks thank you that's so, the winning team huh that's us yep can we talk can we talk i want to talk about comms really quick because we were just talking about this you mm, Rhaegar runs into a bush after they're supposed to die and they bloodlust in the bush and then and then zeratul comes in our is Tiger yelling the entire time, like, I'm coming to you, Rhaegar, and, like, I'm just bloodlust mean we got this? Or, like, we're, was it just, like, hold no. on here, I, don't worry. Like, I mean, what were so, Yeah. I don't think he was saying anything. I was just, like, they're on wary, And I was, like, he was, like, 
running, and then we just had turn on him, and he was insta turned. He just lost it. That's it. Because that was wild. Like both Mac and I were like, "Oh no, this is a dead Rhaegar. They're sacrificing themselves. So the friendly team can get away, and then you win the game." Literally like... how it, how it <laughs> happened. We were like, "Okay, Rhaegar's probably dead here. Okay, he's walking towards their base. He's dead." And then Hanzo got one shot, and then somehow <laughs> Li Ming was like ten health. I don't know. Somebody somebody That's killed silly. Li Ming. Who was yeah. it? So. so okay, so Sil just like one like almost mm. one shot Li Ming. And uh -huh. then all of a sudden she shows up and gets cleaved once, dies instantly. I was just like, wait, did they just win the game? Like, it all happened. We won the game, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it, all, it all happened. Like, Literally, we were like, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> and then I just hear where to go. I don't think I'm dead. <laughs> and then I don't know. I, I actually didn't know what the fuck was happening with our, or, oops, like what was happening with our other teammates. I just saw that Hanzo was chasing him. And I was like, Oh, we can kill him. He's by himself. Yeah, he got, I mean, he got Zeratul tapped out the game. What was the... Uh, you guys played that Kerrigan, Kerrigan Zeratul? Or Samuro. Samuro. Yeah. That's a, we noticed that Almar plays a lot of Samuro. Is it, like yeah. a, is it an actual pick or like something pra being practiced? It's a uh, cosmic brain strat. <laughs> it's the Liam counter. Oh, is it? He just oh. tilts out? Yeah. I mean... This is, this is kryptonite. I'll be honest. I, I look back to when we would play uh, on Heroes Hearth, and I would get so tilted and angry about playing Samuro. But all my team would tell me is that I just don't lose structures and will win. And so, like, I just had to, like, train my mind to realize that I was going to endure a painful... 25 minute session of <laughs> this guy blink striking me and that my whole concept of life was just not to get picked and not let him just free free take structures and yeah. so liam i can see how that probably beats liam as he's like i want to be proactive and do things but in reality against samro you just can't it's true so no, there were some really really good games there um overall like you know, you you did take one loss. I believe that was game number two, which was warm up game. Boe, warm up, warm up. It was B. Okay, all right. All right. This is warm up. Okay, secondary warm up game. Got it. I I was just curious. Like that was the math deal draft. That was yeah. Big so I want I I wanted to ask like what was what was the mouthfield choice in there? Because that came fourth pick. Um, That's where yeah. the draft went wrong. Alan Monoverted. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even, there's no response. <laughs> just a classic. I was just, pick. I was just, I was just curious. Yeah, I was just curious about the the Malphia reasoning on Battlefield of Eternity. That's all. Was Everyone's any... scared of URL, and they don't want to pick any DC. I don't know. So we just kind of went to. So we have to pick the URL counter. We get bullet flash rights. We thought we could do a lot with that. Okay. You did, you did right. get one. Pick I see one. it. But I just yeah. The thing is, Anna gets smelling salts, so Blessed Shield's not good, and you mm -hmm. can cleanse root, so the Stuke off combo isn't good, because we need okay. some kind of setup for it. And after 13, they have two answers. So it didn't work after 13, I think. So were you, were you expecting to win it early, or were you just expecting to, like, kind of, like, build momentum and just kind of get ahead of them and experience and just keep, you know, keep pressure on them? Was that kind of the game plan? I think there was a game plan. You don't or you do? I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> just just checking. Welcome to in houses. It's just it's just <laughs> sometimes we just don't matter pick, and, it's, and the games are made yeah, up. Yeah. Sometimes we just fourth pick Matthew and then get counterpicked and then have no answer because we have to fifth pick a Hanzo. Uh I will ask uh, one more quick question, at least for me. Uh in the upcoming patch, either tomorrow or next week, anything you're looking forward to from that if you've been playing or watching? Uh, just curiosity from anyone in chat. Um I don't know. Black hole? Matchmaking sounds like it's going to be either really bad or really bad. Ooh. But we'll see. <laughs> That's okay. not lucky. I'm excited for the tower changes for the game to be different. Well, you can party queue again, right? My, yes, my you can party yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Five stacking versus solos. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very fun game. It's a bit of, it, it will be a bit of a tilter. Even hitting duos nowadays is kind of tilting. 
Two is not bad. Five man smurfing, baby. <laughs> it comes back. Yeah, it gets born. It's back. Oh, I mean, I I get to deal with it because I play low enough. I I get I get to lose my points constantly. Um. Well, no, I mean, with that, congratulations once again on your victory. It was it was a fun little series. Uh, any quick shouts that any of you'd like to give the uh, floor is yours. We can just run through from top to bottom if you want. Uh, Shout out to you guys for hosting this. It's pretty fun. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Good job casting. Appreciate it. Shout out to chat. Chat's in the chat. <laughs> Anybody else? Nope. Cool. Try to switch out to free PX. Oh, okay. Free there you go. Yeah, <laughs> Gotta get the memes in there. <laughs> Happy who? Thank you. Yeah, happy hoots and chat. Uh, thank you so much for for all the games for for the little interview. You all have a great night and congratulations on your three one victory in week four. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You too. Later, guys. Yeah. Thank you. See you later. 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 All right, Mac. I got you. Here, I'm here. Hello. Alrighty, everyone. Um, Bandit's already halfway out the door. I know <laughs> people have been wanting to see him. Come here, bud. Come come say hi to stream. They really want to see you. Come on. Come up. There you go, bud. Very all right. Nice. On that note, thank you all for hanging out. This has been really, really fun. McIntyre, where can people find you in, when you're not casting Here's Hard Celebrity Clash League in-house league on Monday nights so, at 6 p.m.? Yeah. <laughs> uh, McIntyre on Twitch, McIntyre Hots on Twitter, and then obviously Heroes Earth YouTube channel and Giant Slayer Valorant YouTube channel. Both uh, the backbone of that is is me, although my face doesn't always show. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of my passion and creativity is going into that stuff. So if you want to check that out, uh, if you enjoy the stuff that I'm making, it'll be there. And you can find me Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube all at Bahamut Gaming. I do a lot of casting of Here's the Storm. We do some other games here and there. And uh, yeah, hopefully you all swing by and check out some of the games that I have coming up uh, this week and this weekend. Otherwise, this has been pretty much it for us. We'll see you next Monday. But before then, if you're itching for more Here's the Storm content, you can either obviously check out their YouTube page or follow here where on Wednesdays they have all of their like day long. It's just like it's like three whole sections. We got sections a Grubby show. Constant. We got a Trixler show. We got a Kai Berry show. There's uh, all sorts of people. Bandit's going to get his own show Bandit, soon, so yeah, don't worry, we're everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph's going to be there. They're going to they're gonna cast and co-cast together. It's going to be dynamic. I'm trying to put the funds together to afford the two of them. They really... They really are Ralph's tough. contract. I saw the numbers. There's too many <laughs> yeah. zeros there. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for hanging out. This has been an absolute blast. We'll see you all on Monday, and then you can come by on Wednesday for more Heroes of Storm action. Until then, we'll see you all in the Nexus. Stay safe. Peace.